Hi, Claudia. Hello. How are you? I'm so sorry because I'm feeling good. <laughs> yes. And what is going on? Um, maybe I will get sick. Flu? Get a flu, maybe? Yes. Yes. Well, let's hope no. Uh, try to drink something so you can prevent. Um, yeah. Remember, you can drink some tea. Um, well, lemon will, will be fine as well. Okay. Yes, thank you for the recommendation. Yeah, <laughs> you're welcome. You're welcome. Okay, as you see, my light is kind of crazy. <laughs> uh, as as yesterday and it's very this very difficult for me to reach it está super alto and i cannot change the the lamp so <laughs> this is kind of crazy uh, but thank you for being um in the class i understand that we are done with everything so we are just doing a very very uh a short review basically that is what yeah. we're talk about today or tonight all right how are you Lorena fine thanks hey you should teach English already right oh. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I I like it I would like it yeah yeah for, of course your English is really good just probably certain pronunciation that we we will yeah. always um we can always um, improve, improve something, <laughs> yeah. 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 Even, even in my case, I was checking about the uh, several, sorry, I'm very hot. Uh, <laughs> pronunciations, for example, I was, I was reading that there are like 45 pronunciations or sounds in English, 45, imagine, so we are, we have many. For example, the U, or where all the letters have short sounds or long sounds, right? But in this yeah. case, um, we're going to discuss those things today. As Alberto told us, or suggested before, all right? Hey, and, good evening. And good evening, hey. how are you? How was your day? Mm, pretty good. I mean, produ productive, really productive. Very productive. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. All right. So I uh, I had some notes here, but I don't. I cannot read them because my lamp is crazy, right? And it's <laughs> very, very high. I cannot reach it. I need a a scale or a ladder to to reach it. But anyways, let me see if I can see, if I can see something. Oh, okay. So we were uh, talking about some pronunciations that we would like well, like we would like to have some tips on how to pronounce certain words. All right. So um, we will start with um this part and first of all guys we have uh, the er right and this sound or it's very common for example when we're saying teacher yes or um, player so it's basically the er that the notes or shows that we're talking about the person who is doing the action right Teach teacher, yes. Uh, do doer, all right. Um, what else? Swim swimmer, etc. All right. So this is a very common pronunciation in English, and as you know, we have the a uh, or a sound, short vowels, and long vowel sounds. Okay, but uh, we're not going to focus on that. Because must well, we already talk about that uh, in few um, in some classes or in one class before, and so 
the sound that I would like to talk about is the um sure. how do you spell it? Let me just S Shua. No. I forgot this this sound. Give me a moment. How how to write it? If you know how to write this, the name of this symbol, let me know, okay? One moment. Also, I would like to talk about prepositions, the time prepositions or locations, okay? Um, uh, um, okay. It's like this. S C H W A. Chua. And I don't find this sound. Um, I'm, I don't know. I don't find this symbol. But let me get it really quick. One moment. For example, anytime you see this teacher, look at this expression is, we don't say teacher, right? We don't say teacher, teacher, right? We say teacher, teacher. This is the famous schwa symbol, okay? Got it? So this is the one that we're going to talk about. This is the symbol, Shua, okay? And let's see, let's make it bigger, something like that. Okay, so this is a very, very, very common uh, sound, all right? This is the most common uh, pronunciation that, for example, we have in some endings or uh, suffix, como los sufijos, right? Sean, for example, we have that example. Um, oh, Sean, for example. Sean, yeah, nation. We don't say Sean. ¿Se acuerdan que ayer les estaba mencionando eh, que a veces decimos Sean, vea? And we're talking about this sound, all right? So we need to relax this um our mouth, our tongues, and everything when we pronounce this schwa, all right? Uh, 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 better, all right? Um, information, shun, all right? We don't say shun as well, okay? Uh, what else, what else, what else? What else can I say? Let me see. I have the other. Mm. Okay, so we have some pronunciations, for example, guys, um, in this case, when we're talking about uh, the words that I just mentioned, for example, nation, um, creation, what else can you remember with shun? Information. Information. Remember, they have to finish with T-I-O-N because the different uh, the difference between this shun is uh, a little, it's, uh, well, it's kind of, um, kind of different, right? With the shun, shun, we vibrate here more, all right? Any other? Information. Information, shun. All right, so in this case, we're talking about the 
schwa all the time. In all these time, in all these words, we're using the schwa sound. All right? Pronuncie. Shun. Shun. Ni shun. All right? Now, if I say example, extend. Shun. Shun. Do you hear the difference? A little bit? Shun. All right, it's more vibration, all right? We use a vibration here. Tension, all right? The other is just tension. Got it, guys? That's another different pronunciation. All the time when we have this ending or suffix, we have nature, for example, sure. Sure. Tell me another one. Mature. Sure. Sure. Okay. What else? Oh, sure. mm, picture. Hello? Mm, picture. Picture. Yeah. Sure. Very good. Picture. Any other? Any other word that finish with this? We always say sure. Pronunciation, sure. All right? Got it? Let me see what else. Um, example, why did I write the ER in, in this example? All right, because we also have the ER when we're doing comparisons, right? Yep. So. Yeah. When we're done talking about comparisons, we always pronounce as well this sua. Okay. Um, example, let's see the adjectives. Tell me adjectives, guys. Let's review Small. the adjectives and the, the way they need to be um, comparatives. Yep. Yeah? The comparatives, or how can we compare them? So the adjectives, we have, for example, one syllable sound, a one syllable uh, adjective, for example, called, what else? Wild. Small. Wild. Like this. Yes. Bad. Far. Bad. Bad. Bad, all right, but those are irregular, all right? So they, they, they do not apply the same rule okay. to make a comparison, yes. Guys, come on, hot. Uh -huh. Another one syllable um, adjective. What is an adjective, guys? Blue, blue, no, it doesn't. What is an adjective? It's like the characteristic of the subject. What the what describes the subject, okay? Or what describes a noun? A noun huh. can be a subject, all right? And the I subject can be Uh, subject pronouns or any other na name or noun. Okay, what's the difference between a name and a noun, guys? Hello. <clears throat> okay, so adjective is, for example, um these are adjectives that include only one syllable they are formed just for one syllable okay what about the others two syllable adjective guys two or more syllables alert i'm sorry Alert. Alert. 
that is more like um like a verb to alert someone better but that is good and better is the comparison yeah <laughs> That is an irregular. We will talk about the irregular ones here. Come on, guys. <laughs> Two syllable uh, uh, adjectives. Anxious. Sorry? Anxious. Anxious. More anxious. Okay. Okay. We have handsome. We have what else? Beautiful. Beautiful, etc. All right. Um now in that case, um beautiful. Two or more syllables. All right, but we have some others that have two syllables and they finish with the Y letter, right? Example, two syllable verbs with that finish with the Y. Angry. Ah, ending with the Y. Angry, good, what else? Rainy. 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 Yeah. Okay. Pretty. Tasty. 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 Yeah. Very good. So we have more examples like that. The irregular ones are the ones that you just say that is good. We say better. Mm -hmm. For bad, we say and worse. 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 For um, far, we say harder. Mm hmm. How do you spell it? Like this, right? Further. Yeah. Uh-huh. And uh, what else? There are more. Okay, so we have also... Um... Any other guys? Come on. Let me see what else we have. You? What is the, the comparative? Anyone? Less. Yes, good job. All right. And so if we have many, more. Oh. Okay. And in so, among others, I don't remember all of them. Okay. So what is the rule here? Ayúdenme, please, con la rule. So, if we're talking about one syllable verb, I'm sorry, adjective, we just add the ER, right? Colder, wilder, hotter. And don't forget the, ro the rule for doubling the last consonant if it's in the middle of, if there is a vowel in the middle, okay? Harder, okay? Warmer, ER only, got it? What happens with the end, with the um, 
adjectives ending with Y. You don't write you don't write the Y and you change for I I E S. No, no, I E S. That is compared. That I is the superlative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I E R. Angrier. I E R. R. Uh -huh. uh huh. Example. So we remove the Y and change it for the Latin I, and then E R. All right. Angrier, prettier, but we never say more pretty, all right? It's not correctly. Prettier, tastier. Yes? Er, er. And for two or more syllables, what happens? You, you use more. Mm -hmm. So if we're doing the comparison with these adjectives, what how do you form the 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 um the examples guys give me examples my husband is more handsome than <laughs> another one <laughs> ah okay than than anyone by a pero ahí sería dan ahí sería el más guapo vea porque ahí está comparándolos con todos what is the difference guys when we're doing comparisons, it's because we are comparing two things, all right? One with another thing, or one group with another group, all right? And, but if you're talking about the superlative, we are comparing just one person with everything or with everybody, all right? Yeah, but you use the word the most. In that case, you use the most. Very good, all right. So let's talk before just with the comparatives, all right? Comparatives. But if we're talking about the superlative, so we say mm, the most, the most, all right? And if we're doing just for one syllable, ¿Qué pasaba con uno de los de solo de una de uno de una sílaba entonces para hacerlo so we can do the, the superlative? You add est. Ajá. <clears throat> Let's see. Just the comparative. Okay, so we say more handsome than, more beautiful than. And if we're talking about the, um, the ones that are irregular, so we say this, all right? Better, worse, than. All the time we need to add than, remember that. Now for superlative, it is exactly the same thing. For superlative, just, uh, well, Lorena just said, so we say we are EST, correct? That's yes. it? Yes. Uh, wildest, but we have to add this article, the, yeah. all right? Yeah. They call this. So you don't say it is coldest than, no, it is the coldest. That's why it's the unique. Uh, the wildest, the hardest the warmest, etc. And the same thing happens with the uh, ending with the ones ending with the Y. So it is angry, the angry, the angry, what? Comparative. Yes. I'm sorry, the superlative, the superlative. The angriest. The angriest. Ajá. Uh -huh. E-S-T. All right. Ella es la mujer más bonita del mundo. How do you say it? She is most beautiful. The Girl. most beautiful? Pero es, esa es la bella. Y yo digo bonita. Pretty woman. Oh. <laughs> ah. Let me hear yes. Claudia. Let me hear Claudia. Prettiest. Ajá, all right. Eh, ¿Cómo diría entonces? 
Eh, ese sorbete es el más rico que he probado, Ciro. The ice cream is at the best. Es ahí me está better. dando otro, 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 otro. Oh, uh, better, better. No, tampoco. El better no es para ser superlativo, sino que para ser comparati comparativos. Ok. Is it tasty? The tasty is. Remember tasty to ah, add okay. that tasty is, but you need it, to add there, it, all right? It ends with white, right? Tasty. With Remember, you remove the Y and you just add I -S -I -E -S -T. Like, is IEST. Like that is the tastiest. Uh -huh. That's the name of the brand, I guess. Which one? It's, I guess it's ice cream. Uh, it's ice cream, right? Yeah, I, I remember I saw. Is it ice cream? I, I remember there is a brand, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Okay, they're not as good as Sarita or, um, or, but it, they're good. They're tasty, <laughs> but they are not the tastiest. <laughs> good. So that is for more syllables. We say the must, all right? Don't forget the this time. The most anxious, the most handsome. You are comparing one person or one thing with the rest, all right? So there is no nothing better, there is nothing um, more, because that is the maximum or the minimum, all right? Ese es un superlativo. Now, what is there? Eh? Compar is, the, the comparison is better. So, but what is the superlative, guys? So the superlative is? But a good, oh my goodness. It's best. Uh, only best. Entonces best. aquí sería better than. Recuerden, better than. Y entonces the superlative sería the best. All right? All the, the time, the best. Excellent. So the best, the Uh huh. And then for bad, uh huh. Worse than comparative, the worst, the worst. Repeat, worst, worst. What's the, the worst. difference? Worse than and the worst. All right, the worst. Okay, and the farthest, okay, the farthest. El menor, el mes, el más, el mínimo, ¿cómo se diría? Se diría? Uh -huh. Come on, guys. Eso es de, de básico. This is basic. Donde existe un silencio total. Donde ningún alumno quiere participar. Y yo no sé qué hacer al final. Ah, ¡Qué silencio total! Me estaba, me estaba recordando. I am, I am analas, analas, analizando, ¿cómo se diría? Analas, analyzing. Analyzing. I am analyzing. Analyzing. Right. Analyzing. Analyzing. <laughs> Vaya, don Ciro, si no está participando, póngale mute porque estamos escuchando ahí. 
El chant. Sí. Okay. All right, we're listening. So, what is what is the, the list, guys? Se les acaba de decir. Uh -huh. The list. The list? Oh my God. Pay attention, guys. So, it's the list. All right. Ah. Y bueno, y tenemos palabras que se parecen, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, list y list. ¿verdad? Ahí tenemos dos palabras similares. Example, another example that you can remember, guys. Live, leave. Cut and cut. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Cut my, and cut. Cut the about an animal and cut about to cut something with a knife. A cat and a cut. Okay. Cat, cut. Cat, cut. Similar words. All right. Cat. Cut. Cat, cut. All right. Nice. Another, uh, another example, guys. That you can remember. So look, um, in this case we have um, the key. Oh, oh, sorry, kiss, kiss, and then we have the keys. All right, different. List, live, cat, kiss, but. Uh, no, no voy a poner esta porque no está en el ejemplo que yo quería llegar. All right. Some verbs or, or words have the, the I sound, but this is a very short sound. All right. So this list. Live. All right. Kiss. Y los otros. So you stretch your mouth. Least. Leave. Keys. All right. Yes. Be careful with pronunciation, guys. All right. Uh, something else that I heard that sometimes we say, hey, ¿y cuántos son ustedes? Le preguntan. ¿Cómo preguntarían eso? How many do you are? Uh, that, is, that is the most common question, but it's not the correct way to say it. All right. How many of you are there? Oh, and then you say, there are five of us. There are, how many of, uh, how many of us are in the class? How many uh, students are there? So, nos decimos, we are five. Si digo, we are five, estoy diciendo que, yo, que nosotros tenemos five years, right? Yes? Something different. I am five or we are five. Todos somos 30. We are 30. No, ¿verdad? So there, we say there is or there are five of us. Got it? There are five of us. Okay. Oh, there are five of them. Son cinco ellos. All right. Uh, otro. Eh, si llueve, si ya pasa esto, si esto, uh, whatever happens, si tenemos una condición, all right. How do you form the, the situation in the future? Do you use will again in two times? For example, what do you think the correct word or, or the correct structure is? Or is this correct or no? <clears throat> is this correct? Yes or no, guys? Levante okay. la mano. Raise your hand if you think it's correct. Yes. Or you think it's incorrect. Raise your hand. It's incorrect. Correct. Thank you, Robert. You're the only one and Lorena as well. Okay. It's incorrect. Uh, so how do you correct this sentence? If, would, even though we're talking about the future, no le ponemos esto. All right? 
So, how do you form the structure? Yeah, <laughs> the same. Ajá. Si llueve, no voy a salir. Ajá. What is the correction there? Vamos, Ronald, tell me. You're very advanced, so you should know. I mean, I know some of the conditionals, but I don't consider them that important. So I don't know. I know there are four of them, but I'm not sure which one is, is the one we're talking about now. I this is the first, the zero conditional. I'm, I'm the first conditional. Y no, no importa si es el primero o el segundo. Lo que, lo que quiero es um, to notice the weight of the verb, right? Focus on the verb. Ah, right? the verb is in present. It's in present. So what is missing? The S. Yes, exactly. So if it rains, I won't go out. Now, the second conditional, then we have, for example, the zero conditional is if you enter or if you put water in the fridge, it gets frozen. Action versus reaction, okay? Yeah. <clears throat> that is the zero conditional. And this is the first conditional. The first condition, yeah. I, if yeah. I'm not mistaken, then we have the second conditional. And uh, if you uh, remind me, Lorena, so that the second conditional, we and always the second use condition, if, uh -huh. plus. The verb in past, in past, okay. Past, yeah, uh -huh, and then the next the part is, is in it's a, a hypothetical situation. Uh -huh. So, in that case, we use would, right? Yeah, si tuviera, if I had money, I, money, ponemos, I would buy tuviera. a car, <clears throat> exactly. All right, so we always use would, and uh, well, basically, that's that's it. What else? What else? What else? Que más me falta, guys? Give me a moment. I cannot see my I cannot see my notes. Oh, remember uh, Alberto last time I mentioned that there are some certain words that we don't pronounce the um, uh, the the T for example, and some of them are um, like um international, interchange, interview. All right, so we don't say interview, international, or interchange. All right, y saben también que la E al final, ¿verdad? También no se pronuncia, ¿verdad? No me digan wifey, no me digan give, live. Ajá, no, no, la E nunca se pronuncia al final. Por favor, anoten. Would you write the, the, the or would you repeat the words that you don't pronounce the T, please? Yeah, to give you the example, like international, interview, international, interview, interchange. Oh, yeah, Santa Claus. What is the other one? Santa Claus. Santa Claus, uh -huh. So most of the time, if you see an... And in a T, most of the time, the T is silent, okay? Also, guys, we don't pronounce knife, 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 vea. Esta acá tampoco se pronuncia al inicio, así que no. Y la de psicología, psychology, tampoco se pronuncia. Para que no vaya a escupir a nadie queriendo pronunciar la psicóloga, right? Psychology, psychologist. Uh, psychologist. So do we don't pronounce the K, for example, the P at the, at the beginning, um, and the E at the end. All right, not even not it not even um, at the end. In this case, the E is silent. Okay. What else? What else? What else do you want to say? Questions, guys. Tell me. Ask me some questions. <clears throat> Uh huh. Thank you. Some other words that are mute, or some words that have mute, um, or are silent. All right. Any questions, guys? So far. 
no questions. When you are talking about names, when do you know how change like uh, my name? Some some people say Lorena, Lorena, and that is correct. What is I don't know if it is a rule to to the, to use for names. No, basically it's just pronunciation. Mm -hmm. As we were saying last time, La Laura. That is Laura, very Spanish, Laura. right? It's Laura, uh -huh. Lorena, Lor Lorena. Lo más común que podría, Ay, Velma, Velma. En lugar de decir vi, dicen Velma, Bo, Velmo. Okay. <laughs> Guys, la A se pronuncia más como O, all right? Y la O se pronuncia un poquito más como A, all right? It's another rule, guys. Um, let me see. More examples of mute or silent sound. I got I got a question, but it's not related to the to the topic. Okay, we what is seen... your question? If I know, uh, I definitely okay. answer. Okay, I would like to know if, if is there any rule for using not or no? I understand not is used mostly after a model verb, right? And no, I don't know if there's any rule for using either well, not we, or no. There is no difference in that case. So you, <laughs> just to give you an example, no, it, um, it is basically um, when you're saying, for example, like he there says. is nothing, that there is nothing. No, okay, nothing, no. Okay. Okay, and not is, is just when you're, I am not Vilma, all right? So, or there is no, for example, there there is no one here, all right? Okay. There is not anyone or there is no one. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, it depends, it depends, but it's, it's more uh, when you use it more like, there is no need to do this. There is no, um, necessary to do this right so that is basically what i could say Where, like there's no way or how could i say there's no way in the other way there is no way there is there's no way that is not a way is is the same like there is no way, no hay de otra, right? Uh huh. Uh, there is, yeah, there is no way. There, I don't. There is mm, nothing to do. I don't know. Uh, okay. It depends on the context, but yeah, there is nothing to do. There is no okay. one there. Thank you. Okay. My pleasure. Se me borró todo, guys. What happened? No. No. Okay. The other thing. Todo se me borró, guys. Yeah. Everything was deleted. Everything, everything. Um, what else? Any other question, guys? <clears throat> All right. So we have some other verbs, some other that are very easy to understand and to know the difference. Example, we have here. And we are, listen, what's the difference? You use listen. 
Do you listen when you are, when you, do you refer about music? Listen to uh -huh. music. So we say listen to, right? We listen to music. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Here is when, just, uh, do you hear me? Like, uh, so by like, what is the difference? I understand is listening is paying attention. And here is like the opposite. So, okay. Here is basically just the um one of your senses, right? One of your fans five senses. You hear something, but you don't pay attention. And now when you're listening, yes, you pay attention. And we always used to listen to music, okay? Um what else? What else? What else? Um we have watch. What else? See, that is kind of different, uh, kind of same thing. Cat, uh, watch, uh, see, <clears throat> and what is the other? Look. Yeah. Yeah. Look. Uh huh. What's the difference? So we can we can see watch and see they are almost the same. They are related to the first the, the first example I just mentioned. Oh, what so what is the difference, guys? It, that's it the same thing watch and see so what is more what is more part of your senses see it's when you see because you see but you're not paying attention to the details so there is the difference watch okay but and what about look Look, someone. I, yeah, it's it's just momentan. Yeah, it's just for a moment. All right, you pay attention for a moment. Hey, look at this. Look, there is a guy running there. Look, there is a cat, uh, um, uh, eating your food. But, but you just pay attention for a certain time. All right, a specific moment when someone in calls your attention to do it. Okay. What else, guys? Let me see. What else I had? More silent. Um, hmm. Do you remember that the L is very silent in, in many examples, right? Example, walk, talk. Cancel. Which one? Aisle, for example. Aisle. What else? Island. Can you repeat, please? Island. 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 All right. Island. All right, so uh, make sure, guys, you don't pronounce the L in those examples as well. Um, oh, when do when do you pronounce the CH and when not, guys? Do you know? <clears throat> Chemist. We don't pronounce the CH, all right? We just pronounce the C. All right, chemist. What else? Any other that you remember? Mechanic. Mechanic. Very nice. Mechanic. You, and very, very common that people say a stomach. Stomach, this thing. Stomach. How do you pronounce it? Sorry. Like this, right? Stomach. All right. 
What else? Let's see. The word chocolate. 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 Okay. <clears throat> Chemist. Um, Etc. Kales. <laughs> kales. Huh? That word kales. Ah, for example, skims. This one? Skims? Or which one? Oh, chamomile. Chamomile, you said. Chamomile, right? Yeah, yeah, that's chamomile. Okay. And etc. 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 Guys, uh something else that is very common. It's um when we say, for example, man, what is the plural? Men. Men, uh-huh. And for women and for women, they are um, the negative, sorry, the, the plural <laughs> is women. Women, right? women. Like we never add, no, no le ponemos ese. <clears throat> no le ponemos ese, solo es women. All right, man, man, woman. Women. Women. Ajá, no le ponemos nunca la O. Eh, perdón, la S. Si llevara la S, eso denotaría... Sí, podría ir a decir, pero con un apóstrofe, ¿ok? <coughs> yes. What else, words, what else, what else? Words that, that are in singular, but they, they refer to, to plural, like people. People. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Person, Person, people. Yeah, that, that's complicated because I, I say people is crazy, but it's the right thing is people, people are, are crazy. People are crazy. Yep. It's a common mistake that I do. Okay. And something else, something else, guys, that I would like to add is, as I mentioned, when we have these examples like drive, at the end, we not, we not, never pronounce the E. So it's drive. <clears throat> we have a pine. But we have pen. Pen, pine. Pin, pine. If you see an E at the end, so you pronounce the I as a long, as a long sound, right? If it's, it doesn't have an E at the end, so just, just pronounce a short E. Pin, pine. Hey, let me see another one example I was getting. <clears throat> um... Um, well, just to give you a more, more examples, let me see what else. Uh, let me find another, another, another. Any example, guys, that you can help me? Oh, so we have another one that is um, rot, rot, and the other one is rot, 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 rot. Okay. Um, if there is an e at the end, the the sound is longer. All right. Uh, what else? What else? What else? You want to mention? <clears throat> um, if it is root, it would be root, root. Example, how do you spell it? No, if it is root, like R O U T E, root. okay. So, which with which uh, with word. With which word would you would you um, are you comparing? 
No, like like with, with the one that you wrote already. Example, pull, pull, and pull. All right? Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. Et cetera, guys. Remember, uh, those are similar words, but the difference is basically that you stretch your word, your, your pronunciation, like live. I live in Suchitoto. I am going to leave this town very soon. Y me voy a ir, all right? Estamos hablando de live and leave. All right. Uh, what about... What is the meaning of leave? To abandon, to go. Yeah. Right. But there is also... If I, if I have the S, what is the word? Yeah, it's a, a part of a plant. Exactly. Plant. What is the singular word? Leaf. Leaf, right? Very good. Leaf. Excellent. As you can see, guys, there are many ways that you can identify some, some words that have the same pattern. Tienen el mismo patrón. Eh, por ejemplo, what is another, guys? Wife, vea, wife. <clears throat> For wife, we have wives. Wife. Also knives. Knife, aha, knife. uh -huh, knife, knives. So there are very similar words that I really, really want to find out the rules, okay? I'm trying to do as much, as much research as I can so um, I can identify certain rules. Um what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? <clears throat> Example, guys. Do you know when to pronounce the letter G as a G or as a G? Do you know? Mm, yes. That's complicated also. It I is not actually that... it's not complicated. We just need to remember a little bit of grammar yeah. when we were in high in high school. In 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 Spanish, es algo bien parecido al español. All right. <clears throat> so, for example, ¿qué pasa con ga, go y gu? The same thing is in English. Okay. All right. So what happened? Ahí ocupamos. Con ga, go, mm, ahí sense. sí ve. O sea that que si es sense. a, o, or you, ahí se pronuncia con go. All right. Oh. If not, jam. Yes. Obviamente siempre hay excepciones. All right. There are many, very exceptions. Um, but for example, miren, eh, un ejemplo que no, que sería completamente, um, it would be um, an exception is with get. What? Yeah. We don't say jet. <laughs> we don't say jet. Okay. We don't say head tampoco. All right, and let me see some examples or exceptions that you can have uh, with the with the go, okay, with the with the ju. Uh, we have gecko, okay, gecko or gecko. What else? Anger. Anger. Yeah, anger. Geese. ¿Por qué? Quizás por el goose, ¿verdad? Se pone entonces. Otro verbo, perdón, otro nombre. Geese, que es completamente diferente, ¿verdad? Goose, geese. Eh, eh, <coughs> girl. Tenemos girl también, all right? Girl. Those are the few exceptions that I was uh, able give. Uh -huh. Give, gave, mm -hmm. give and gave, uh, etc. But most of the time, most of the time, it's it's yeah, all right, like germ, all right, gem, uh, George's. Oh, sorry, um, George, for example, but, right. Eh, what else? What else? What else? ¿Cuándo es que decimos la esa? Typically. 
No decimos Cali, ¿verdad? Tampoco, guys, ¿ok? Decimos Cli. Ahí la A tampoco la pronunciamos. Especially, especially. Eh, aromatically, artistically, physically. All right? Simplemente lo hacemos como así, ¿ve? Cli. All right? <coughs> Got it, guys? Yeah. Okay. Basically, yeah. Very good, guys. Well, I hope you like this class. And well, I hope that you have passed everything. It's been a pleasure, guys, having you in my class. Thank you for your cameras on. All right. Thank you for your participation. I understand that as 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 more or the more you practice, the more you learn. So I'm very happy for the ones who took advantage practicing all the time. Okay. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Algún momento yeah. nos vemos, guys. Bye bye. Yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow, no, ya. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Take care. Ya yeah. le regalé una clase adicional. Ya le di una nueva yeah. una clase más, así que no. Muchas See you, gracias. Gracias. See gracias. you gracias. in the next gracias. course. En algún gracias. otro curso. Gracias. Bye bye, guys. Bye bye. 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 Bye b